My uncle gave me a 1971 16 foot pull behind camper. So I started getting that all fixed up to set out on my journey. Not really sure where it was going to lead me. I wanted to be the top and, and do all that and have a restaurant, but my family had restaurants and I seen them die before they got to enjoy life. And I'm enjoying life now. We had the goal of building the ultimate overland machine. Welcome to our tiny kitchen. We're really into like the copper aesthetic of things. So we like to do antique stuff as much as we can get that kind of vibe in here. We have a little tiny sink here. I wish it was bigger, but it gets the job done. And as we work our way over here, we added this copper bar up here where we hang some of our fun little things. We have our cups, our antique percolator here. And up above, we store all of our glassware, plates, and everything in here. This one's where we store all of our food. Then working down below, we have all of our pots and pans in this one. And then our water heater is stored in this cabinet. Coming from a bigger RV before we got into this one, we had a lot more space. But we find that we can last up to 10 days with the amount of storage we have, so it's not too bad. This is like my outside kitchen area. And this is where I keep like a lot of my little bushcrafty tools and stuff like that. I have my stoves. I have a couple of knives in here and I just keep some tea and a jet boil and everything I need and I can actually just cook right outside on this thing. And it's pretty amazing. So up here is my smoker. I can sit there and, and smoke a pork butt and be right here and have this amazing view. So that's just my little touch. And, makes me feel good to have my smoker. <laughs> Over to the dinette area here. Most importantly, our table is on a swivel here so it can come out and be great for us to eat at. Uh, we also do a lot of our work here. I don't watch a lot of TV, but it's nice to have when the weather's not so great outside, we can sit and relax in here. And then just decorated in our rustic little style back here, we have little lanterns and some little decorations that we've collected along the way. But under this, we have our 30 gallons of fresh water. And next to it is where we have our battery storage. We don't have quite as much power as we would like. We have to run the generator sometimes, but it keeps us going for the most part. So up to the bed area of the camper, it's a double or full size bed. So it's a little bit small for the both of us. It's not ideal. We wish that we could be able to sit up in bed. We can't sit up without hitting our heads, but we make it work. It's not too bad. Bed warmer. So basically you just boil water, put it in this and put it under the covers. And it's been really awesome. We just like our little antique things. And underneath the mattress, we have one of these handy things so that you don't get water buildup under there, which can create mold. Otherwise, we just snuggle up in there and you know, get a pretty good night's rest most of the time. So onto our tiny, tiny little shower. Starting at the bottom, we have a composting toilet. I definitely recommend for anyone that's living this lifestyle. And when the weather's nice, we prefer to shower outside instead. But in the winter months like this, it's nice to be able to be in the warmth. And with the heater pretty close to it, we can really warm this space up and take a pretty nice shower in here. I took the closet rod out and went with this bag system which works really awesome for me. Basically, I just have a bag for each type of thing. Girl's gotta have her space for her clothes. We had the goal of building the ultimate overland machine. We started off with the power wagon. It's a 2018 and it was 50K. We bought it in Las Vegas. The camper Brittany found on Facebook Marketplace of all places and that is also a 2018 and it only cost us $12,000. We thought that was a steal. Then we did the whole underneath suspension system just to support our weight. We put airbags, new springs, new sway bar, the whole Carly underneath package. All of that ran us about $11,000. I'd say in it total with everything, I think we are not even above 90,000 yet.
we have the EcoFlow Delta and it's literally just plugged into our camper with this extension cord. We run it around and keeping that topped off, we have 400 watts of solar on the roof and those are also EcoFlow panels. So they kind of work together really well. They're good quality. And when it's like a really stormy day or it's snowing or raining or anything like that, or we're in the trees, we have our generator right here, which is also tied into 12 gallons of gas. Literally you can run this thing for over a week. Right here we have our propane tanks, this big one we use for our fridge on the inside and our heater and normally it'll last us over a week. And for cooking, I just run this adjustable propane thing to this little tank that sits on top of here and this will also last us for a week, week and a half. So really we can stay off grid with just this amount of propane for almost two weeks and it's really nice. And then right underneath everything, we have our UV water light system and this just purifies the bacteria in the water so we can take water from a river, we can take water from anywhere that we want, a uh, city hookup and run it through here, kill the bacteria and then we have a sediment filter that goes right into our tank and our tank on the inside I believe holds 30 gallons. So right in the back we have our Starlink and we literally just mounted it up there with the stock bracket that it comes with which is kind of nice because it elevates it up and we use that thing for everything. It actually runs when we're driving and it's really convenient because we shut off our cell phone plans, we quit paying $240 a month and me and Brittany both use Starlink on Google Voice and use Wi-Fi calling and when you're in the middle of nowhere like here there's no cell signal but we can still get calls, receive everything, text messages, use our internet, and it's really nice. And it gives you that peace of mind when you're rolling through the desert to Baja and there's nobody out there, no signal that you are connected to everyone. I've had my job since before we started traveling, which lined up really well for us to be able to travel. And what I do is customer service. We also manage properties for my mother. She has rental properties, so that pays us a little bit each month. And then we also have our little YouTube channel that's going on, Nomadity. So if you guys want to check us out, come check us out. We have tons of good overlanding tips. And since we started this lifestyle seven years ago, I think Jay and I have both decided that this is what we want to do for the rest of our lives, or at least as long as we're you know, physically able to. So we always joke with people and say that we're going to do this until we hit the retirement home and we just can't go anymore and it's just such a freeing feeling and I try to encourage people all the time to just get out there and give it a try. If you don't like it, you can always go back to just, you know, the standard life nine to five job thing. But if you can do this, it's an amazing way to live. You have no stress, you're free from all the pollution, you're away from all the drama. You get to be out here and do your own thing and to me, that's what I can never give up. Good food, water, each other, are animals and that's all we need. So thanks for watching us. I hope you guys enjoyed our rig and a little glimpse into our life. And all of our links will be linked below so you can head down there and find us.